Okay, hi everybody. Um, I'm just answering a question. Yes, I'm Australian. Um, that wasn't the question. But uh, Zach Can Draw asked me about how to combine um, the, the fluidity of gesture drawing with the preci anatomical precision of uh, using the stick figure technique. Um, to illustrate what he meant by the question, there, there is a, a school of drawing. Now, this is this book that I'm showing you. I don't know if you can see it. I can't actually see. It's called The Natural Way to Draw by Kimon Nicolaitis. I think that's how you say it. Now, I learned how to draw uh, in my teens. Like, I already knew how to draw, but I learned a lot from reading this book. Now, gesture drawings, you see here, you've got these. Now, they don't, they don't look photographically like a person, but they feel like a person. And it is that kind of energy that you want in your comic art. You see, I think what probably one of my most favourite. This is here we go, Clown by Dalmier. It's just full of like you can see him, this little guy here beating that drum madly, and you can see the tension in the curve of his body. Now that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. But you don't see many comic artists drawing like that because it's not. All that clear as to what's happening it's a it's an intense moment now stick drawing is the uh, often I hope you can see this I'm trying to draw a bit darker than I usually do you got your head this is very badly done by the way because I'm in such a hurry but you know here we go that's a stick drawing. And uh, um, our friend Zach Can Draw is complaining that, of course, this is totally uh, wonky because I'm just, you know, basically saying, oh, you know, um, this is deliberately androgynous, by the way. Um, it's a bit static because you know you draw that body first and then now the trick and what I do and I mean I'm not really all that brilliant as a comic artist myself but what I do now I have a picture I'll link to it in the comments that I of a, of a dancer who irritatingly has a stomach that is as thin as her thigh, which I said couldn't be done. It wasn't a normal uh, pose for a person. If you're wondering what that dingle bell is, it's my cat being a dork. Um, yeah, um, unfortunately, she has proven me wrong. <laughs> but by and large, people, people's midsections don't usually get thicker than their thighs. You'll see what I mean when, when you see the picture. Anyway, I'm digressing. I'm going to sketch gesturally. Well, actually, no, I don't need to sketch gesturally because you've seen what a gesture drawing is. I'm going to show you how uh, to get the energy of, a, of an image, an energy of a movement in a picture, but still plotting out the... Um, the movement. Now, I'm sure there are people out there that can do this way better than me, okay? So if there's somebody out there and you can do it better than me, please go ahead, correct me. I would love to see what you've got to say because I need improvement in this field myself. But this is from what I know and uh, I've been studying art seriously since I was a teenager. I'm 32 now, so it's about 15 years of, of, of serious art study, both in and out of uh, learning institutions. Okay, so we've got 
uh, something like this. All right. The first thing I do when I when I sketch anything is I ascertain where the three main body parts are. Okay. And if you're wondering, this is a Prismacolor Colorace Carmine Red pencil. I cannot tell you enough how awesome Colorace are. They're really great. They're just it is a nice pencil. Um, so if you're ever doing any sketching, definitely go for these. Okay. Um, okay, her hip is then tilted back in a rather beautiful languid curve, but not at a ridiculous angle, okay? Most of it is made by the round of the bottom. So you got your hip shape there. So the first thing I'm doing, the first thing I'm doing is sketching the big lines. Okay. Um, okay. The thigh lines are, are another couple of lines that you really want to get in first. You want to just really get in the main muscles. Okay, she's a woman, so she's got breasts. Her hair is moving. Her arm goes about to the top of her head. Now you notice I'm not really, not really stick arting. What I'm doing is I'm plotting the body. You know, you can stick out, you know, you can say, oh, if, if you're unsure of a pose. But I don't really tend to do it all that often. Um, it's like, okay, here's the leg, that's where the muscle's going to, the bone's going to come down there. I've got another bone down, down here, sorry, so you can get it wrong. Uh, at this point, I don't really erase all that much. She's got this beautiful muscle here. I've probably done a rib cage a bit too thick. And then arm. It's really hard because the picture is really, really small from where I'm sitting. I can't even. I usually have a. I'd print it out, but unfortunately my printing computer's bugged at the moment. So we've got this arm here. See, you've got your. You want your. Um. And remember that when you do your lines, make them really decisive. Um, you really want to just slam that line down, get it right the first time. And that's probably even more important for, for, what, for what I'm doing than, you know, um, I mean, I'm really just fudging the hands here at the moment. I'd usually take much longer than... Uh, I am now because well we don't want this to be an hour long video do we um, and you want that the really important thing in getting um, the, the movement in sorry about the shadow don't know if you can see the bottom there I'm Right. is that well, that leg's way too long and then you've got this beautiful bent leg here and my toe comes out whoops there is the, the foot actually of course I've totally fucked that up that line up but you know all right and you got your put under there no sniggering so, so got beautiful muscles there all right so you've got this that's how you do it basically what I've done you 
you just you map it you you map it out think about where the body parts go you know just a little rudimentary face in there now if you're wondering how how you go from that to your finished product uh, I'm just using a, a general layout extra black here because it's a nice dark pencil this is where you you kind of just it's a really weird arm here actually I'm probably doing a terrible job again please if you're better at this than me correct me I'm getting that this muscle here I'm getting it all wrong but at, as I said before, I don't really have the time because it's not a time lapse thing. Though I could just time lapse it, I suppose. This is so bad! <laughs> I'm really, really irritated with myself because it's really bad. Um, basically, you just kind of. A lot of the movement in your image comes from your line. It's got to be a decisive I hope you can actually see what I'm doing here because um, I can't see oh of course I could see if I just turned the bloody thing. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Me and modern cameras man, I tell you. Alright, so you got that Everything's wrong with this picture. Everything's wrong with this picture. I really fucked that leg up. I'm going to decrease the angle. Again, the I used the general's pencil because it's dark and that's what I need for the for this um, for this uh, video. But it is terrible if you've made a mistake and you need to go back. Okay, just keep that in mind. So there's actually a bit more of a, yeah, going on there. That makes more sense. And the foot. There's actually a bit of toe there. And when you're drawing, pay attention to the details. Because, you know, a lot of people kind of just, oh, this is so bad. A lot of people just kind of fluff shit and don't, don't bother with the details and believe it or not attention to detail can change the whole feeling of an image There is no way I'm actually properly illustrating what I had intended to tell you because it's just a really, really, really bad setup that I've got going on here at the moment. It's been quite a. Oh, and the computer keeps turning off as well. This arm, um, you see, this area here is all wrong, okay? I'm just letting you know that. Um, it, in fact, what it needs. This is the muscle. There's a, there's a, yeah, there's a something going on here, like the collarbone, and then there's a muscle that goes down there. And it's this. There's another. Okay, so I'm just rest assured, I'm showing you a bad example of what I mean. When I draw a picture, I will usually draw it three or four times before I'm actually happy with it, because. I'm not Adam Hughes, unfortunately. Okay. And hopefully by the time you're done, when you've... When all is said and done, you should have 
a reasonably not shit movement movement you know this pencil's bloody shit this is my quick sketch face this is actually quite a hard quite a difficult um, sketch for me to pick actually because it's a, it's a very very difficult pose and I don't know why I picked it I wanted something dynamic just to show you you know how to do dynamism I can I can't say that way. I can barely spell it um, but that's roughly I mean it can if you don't have uh, have a, a, a um a photo reference it's a that you know this, this, the stick figure thing is a really good way of um, I don't even know if you can see that you know you're starting off right right you know but eventually you're gonna to have to build up from there I always do heads too big this is this is my big problem in drawing oh, I've got a few big problems as has been uh, correctly pointed out by some critics but you know I'm cool with that because you know shit tell me what I've done wrong I'd like to get better you know um, but hopefully if I show you you want to really follow the lines I'm doing women's poses here because they are the ones that tend to um, get fucked up the most you know um, they are the ones that tend to I mean men's dynamism isn't as much of an issue people know how to represent men in a dynamic kind of way but they kind of fall apart when they come to women so you know what I'm doing here is just showing you how you start with a basic concept and then slowly but surely just kind of fill that concept in Okay, um, and then once you've done that, once you've got your basic in, you come with back with your ink or your, you know, whatever it is you're doing. However it is that you colour, and all my pencils are just horribly, horribly. Um, What's the word? Blunt. And then you just, you know, you come in and you try and give it as much movement as you can, you know. I don't know if you can see that. Um, if there's anything else you want me to explain on video, I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy to, um, just message me, I've got this weekend, I'll do what I want with the house, all the other times I'm sharing it with people so I have to, um, other weekends I have to share with people so basically that's your basic rough yeah not my best sketches but um all my best <laughs> anatomy but I'm not used to drawing women like her they're quite muscular and um
kitty. Um, so yeah, uh, that's my sh PM me um, or, or, or message me on Tumblr, um, Comic Art Corrections. Comic Art Corrections, Tumblr.com. And yeah, uh, hit me up with some questions if there's anything else that you want to know either about anatomy or um, representation of women in comics that piss you off and, and you want to see me correct them in real time, just let me know. And uh, this weekend I might be able to get a few videos off. Uh, and in, before anybody asks, uh, yes, I do have a part two to my comic colouring tutorial. Unfortunately, the old computer that that, that was sitting on died. So I have to do it again. <laughs> and at the moment I'm studying uni, so um, yeah. Alright, so it will come. It's just going to take some time. Okay, so that's it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys around.